uh, get used to variables. Uh, I will make a local variable. Some might get confused why I'm writing the variable here and not defining it there. Well, that is related to programming. It's up to you. You can re define it right there. But uh, there's a difference uh, for defining it here and there. And we'll get into that later on. Right now, we are just focusing on building the interface and uh, understanding how the interface and controls work. So, so in the next tutorials, uh, we will get into the programming aspect and uh, the language itself more than the graphical user interface. So uh, right now, just uh, indulge me. And the variable second number as long. Now, uh, we will define also the result as long. The second number equal lcd.text will get the value from the display. Now, we will check the last operation and execute the that operation. So if operation equals plus, it means we have an addition. Then what are we gonna do? The result equals the first number that is in memory plus second number and we already got, got that second number from display. Now if operation doesn't equals the plus sign we will check for operation equal the minus sign else if operation equals the minus sign then result equal first number minus second number else of uh, and so on operation equal multiplication the star then result equal first number uh, multiplied by second number else if operation equal division then result equal first number divided by second number and after calculating the result we want to store first number equal result and lcd.txt equal result well uh, what does that mean first number equal result we take the result and store them it internally for later use uh, usually in calculators when you get a result and and pressing for example uh, plus minus or something like that pressing the equal sign more than once will re-execute the operation so what are we doing here is getting the value into internal memory and things like that. You, you don't have to put this one, you can remove it. And also you get the result to be displayed to the end user. If you co compute the result and you forget to add this one, you won't get anything on the screen. Uh, and so uh, you think nothing happens. Uh, so this one is uh, quite important. Now. Our calculator code is finished. We just need to test it. So we will press the play button like this. And let's start. 3 3 plus 2. And that equals 35, as we can see. If we want to say subtract 2 from that equals 3 3, or subtract 3 from the result equals 30. Uh, multiply that by 2 and this one equals 60 so it's working fine if you want to divide it by 20 it should give you 3 so it's working perfectly fine uh, one uh, thing though is right now we have that when we are writing the number we are getting the zero the leading zero and this one shouldn't be displayed here to fix things uh, uh, you have to modify the code for those numbers and it's quite easy actually we'll just check if there's a zero only you will remove it and ignore it entirely okay so we'll modify the code right away so this one and when I click for number one so what we do if 
lcd.text equals zero only then lcd.text equal uh, one else we'll change it to, like, to something like this actually this is not the best way to do it but also just to to me uh, to make you familiar with coding the event handler and also a little bit familiar with the F although we will have we will, there will be more on that later on and this one will be for number two change it this one for number three sorry number three this is taking some time number four number four about that I think I, f I should have uh, prepared this code already so that I save you some time unfortunately I I haven't kept it I, okay this will be number seven this will be number seven as well they're all almost finished the last the three This one number eight. This one number eight. This one will be number nine, and this one will be number nine. Finally, number zero. Number. This one zero. Zero. So. After I have changed all of these, we will, we will save our work and press play. Let's start checking the calculator now. When we press 3, you can see that the leading zero is gone and it's working fine. When we press minus 6, 6, 3, 2, 1, it's working perfectly fine. Okay, so our calculator is almost finished and the reason I'm saying this is because there are a few other issues with our calculator. Uh, the most apparent one is that you can resize it and uh, actually you can ruin how your calculator looks like. You don't want your phone to behave like this. And so we will change a number of properties and fix a few things. The first thing, uh, uh, the first thing you notice that uh, the, as I told you a moment ago, the border can be resized. And the second thing is that we come up to be something like this the whole size of the screen. You want to remove both of these. It's very easy. Uh, let's close the application and go to the design. Now click on the form once so that we display its properties and you will go to search for form border style. Now you see it's sizable. It means the border can be changed and if you open this one, you will find the list. Try fix single or, or fix dialog, fix 3D. It's all right. All of them is all right. So you select fix single. There are a few differences between them, but fix single will be perfect for our case. Uh, this is the first thing. Uh, the second thing is that the display here is numbers or we have uh, are large and the display is very small. We want to make it a little bit bigger. So we click on the text box once and we change the form to property and this one will be courier new also bold and the 20 and okay now uh, we have to 